So let's have an example for uh, shear strength of soil. So we have here problem uh, one. So the equation of the effective stress failure envelope for the normally consolidated clay soil is equal to uh, tau that is equal to uh, sigma prime tangent of uh, 30 degrees. So a drain triaxial test was conducted with the same soil at a chamber pressure of 71.35 kPa. So we have to calculate the deviator stress at failure. So yung ikakalculate natin dito is yung deviator stress at failure. So yung uh, given natin, so yung given natin, yung tau, yung shear failure natin that is equal to uh, sigma prime tangent of 30 degrees and we have the uh, confining pressure, yung chamber confining pressure natin na sigma 3 that is equal to 71.35 kPa. So yung hinahanap natin is our confining, uh, our deviator stress, yung ating uh, delta uh, yung ating delta sigma d. So, yan yung hinahanap natin, yung deviator stress at failure natin. So, yung soil natin is a normally consolidated soil. So, pag may normally consolidated soil tayo, yan yung ating more circle. Yung sigma 3 natin, meron din tayong sigma 1. And then, yung Ating deviator stress is equal to doon sa ating diameter ng ating Mohr circle. So, ito yung ating uh, deviator stress. So, ito yung hinahanap natin sa ating uh, sample. So, yung failure plane natin, since this is normally consolidated clay, ito yung magiging failure plane natin. So, that is given in the equation of tau f that is sigma prime tangent of 30. So, meron tayong uh, 30 na uh, phi. So, that is tau tangent of 30. So, yung 30 degrees natin dito, that is our uh, phi. So, yan. Meron din tayong value ng theta 3 that is equal to 71.30. Five from the origin ito ah, ito, dito. So, yung normally consolidated din natin, yung C natin is equal to zero. ba? Yung C natin. And looking at our diagram, yung etong diagram natin, masasolve natin yung ating deviator stress at failure. So, looking at this, yung deviator stress at failure natin is equal to the sigma 1 minus sigma 3. So, you look, looking at this, so yung ating deviator stress is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3. Meron na tayong value ng sigma 3, pero wala tayong value ng sigma uh, 1. So, we need to solve first for the value of sigma 1 bago natin masolve yung required dito sa problem natin which is the deviator stress. So, paano isolve yung ating sigma uh, 1? So, meron tayong given na value ng phi that is equal to 30 degrees. ba? Meron tayong value ng phi. So, yung gagawin ninyo, since yung failure plane natin is in the tangent doon sa ating more circle, kunin ninyo yung uh, Radius. So, meron tayong radius dyan, tangent yan, di ba? So, meron tayong radius dyan, yan. And yung radius natin, yung radius natin is equal to the deviator stress over 2. Or that is equal to, yung radius natin, that is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 over 2. So, yan yung magiging radius natin. And then, pag mapapansin ninyo, this is a triangle. 
So, triangle yan. Diba? And, meron tayong uh, tangent dito. So, pag kinuha natin yung triangle na yan, so, pag kinuha natin yung triangle, so, yan. Yan. Meron tayong radius dito and this is tangent. And, this, the value of this is ah, uh, Ito. Ito yung value nito. So, this is 30 degrees. And yung value nito is sigma 3. So, we have the value here. Yung sigma 3 natin. So, hanggang dito yan. So, meron tayo dito hanggang sigma 3. And then, ito, parehas din. That is radius. Yung ito. So, radius yan. So, yung value dito is sigma 3 plus tangent. So, yung mangyayari dyan is the uh, sine of phi that is equal to radius over sigma 3 plus radius. So, yung radius natin, sigma 1 minus sigma 3 over 2 over yung sigma 3 plus uh, yung radius natin, that is sigma 1 minus sigma 3 over 2. So, uh, evaluate Evaluating this equation, yung equation na natin for sigma prime is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 over sigma 1 plus sigma 3. So, ito na yung magiging equation natin sa ating uh, looking at this uh, uh, figure. So, meron na tayong phi, meron na tayong sigma 3 makukuha na natin yung sigma 1. Masosolve na natin yung sigma 1 by substituting the values of phi and sigma 3 in our equation. So, we have sine. Yung phi natin is 30. That is equal to the sigma 1 minus yung sigma 3 natin is 71.35 over sigma 1 plus 71.35. Yung sigma 3 natin. So, calculating this value our sigma 1 is equal to 214.05 kPa so sigma 1 pa lang yan yung major principal natin yung maximum hindi pa yan yung required natin so yung required natin is the deviator stress and deviator stress is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 we have now the value of sigma 1 we have now the value of sigma 3 so we can solve now for the value of our uh, deviator uh, stress so that is sigma 1 minus sigma 3 so yung sigma 1 natin that is equal to 214.05 kPa minus yung ating sigma 3 or yung chamber confining pressure natin which is 71.35 kPa so yung ating deviator stress now is equal to uh plan yung deviator stress natin that is equal to 214.05 minus 71.35. That is equal to 142.7 kPa. So, kindly check if my calculation is correct. So, for the first problem, yung hinahanap natin na deviator stress is equal to 142.7 uh, kPa. So, yan. So, let's have another uh, examples. So, for problem 2, we have here a consolidated drain triaxial test was conducted on a normally consolidated clay. So, normally yung ating uh, clay. The results were as follows. So, we have the sigma 3 that is equal to 300 kilonewton per meter squared. Our deviator stress which is equal to 350 kilonewton per meter squared. First, we have to determine the angle of friction phi, the angle theta that the failure plane makes with the major principal plane. And lastly, the normal stress, yung sigma n natin, and the shear stress, yung tau f on the failure plane. So, yan yung hahanapin natin. Yung angle of friction, yung angle theta, yung normal stress and yung ating shear 
stress. So, ang prop, ang soil natin is normally consolidated. So, yung C natin is equal to uh, zero. And yung ating test, yung ating triaxial test is a CD test. So, CD yung ating test. So, consolidated drain yung ating uh, Morse circle. So, if we have here the shear and yung normal stress natin doon sa ating Morse circle, meron tayong value of uh, sigma 3 that is equal to 300 and we have also the value of our deviator stress. Wala pa tayong value ng uh, sigma 1. And then, normally consolidated. So, yung plane failure natin dito is uh, tangent dito sa ating more circle failure. And then, yung cohesion natin is zero. So, ito yung magiging phi natin. So, yung failure plane natin, that is equal to TF tangent of phi uh, that is the equation of this uh, inclination plane natin. So, ito yung magiging uh, more circle natin. So, first, sabi natin, we have to uh, solve for the angle of friction. So, yung angle of friction yung hahanapin natin. So, for the angle of friction, so, yung sa solution natin doon sa first problem, yung sine phi natin is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 over sigma 1 plus sigma 3. So, meron tayong value ng sigma 3. Wala tayong value ng ating maximum shear stress, pero meron tayong value ng deviator stress. So, para pakuha natin yung value ng ating sigma 3, we need to... Add sigma 3 plus yung ating deviator stress that is equal to sigma 1. Looking at this uh, uh, diagram. So, sigma 3 plus yung ating deviator stress that is equal to sigma 1. So, sigma 3 plus yung ating uh, deviator stress that is equal to 350. So, 350 ito, yung deviator stress natin. Uh, and that is equal to yung ating sigma 1. So, substituting values, yung sigma 1 natin, yung sigma 3, 300 plus 350, that is equal to, ilan ito? 650 kilonewton meter squared. So, that is our sigma 1. So, substituting values of sigma 1, here in our equation, yung value natin ngayon sa ating phi, so, we have a uh, sign of phi that is equal to 650 minus 300, yung ating sigma 3 over uh, 650 plus 300. So, using your calculator, you can now solve for the value of our intern, uh, angle of internal friction phi that is equal to 2162.62 degrees. So, kindly check if my calculation is correct. So, yan yung ating magiging uh, phi that is equal to 21.62. So, next, letter B. Yung hahanapin natin is for the... Uh, uh, angle that the failure plane makes with the major principal axis. So, in the more circle equation, yung tinakal natin, yung first videos, yung theta natin for letter B, yung uh, equation natin sa pagkuha ng value ng theta is equal to yung failure plane makes with the major principal axis. Pag maalala nyo, yung meron tayong uh, soil sample, meron tayong plane dito. So, yung theta natin dyan is equal to 45 plus phi over 2. So, meron tayong value ng phi. We can now solve for the value of theta. So, yung phi, nat, uh, yung phi natin is 21.62. Uh, so, we have 45 plus 21.62 over 2. Yung theta natin is equal to 
55.81 degrees. So, kindly check if my calculation is correct. So, that is for letter B. So, yan. Yung ating angle that the failure plane makes with the major principal axis. And lastly, we need to solve for the normal and shear stress on the failure. So, isosolve natin yung shear stress natin doon sa ating uh, failure. So, dito sa ating more circle. Yan yung ating more circle. So, from the uh, point dito sa ating tangent ng ating failure plane dito sa ating uh, more circle. So, pag nag-drawing uh, tayo ng vertical dyan, yung vertical na ito, yan yung magiging value natin for the shear. So, yan yung tau natin kasi yung y-axis natin is the shear stress. And then, yung x-axis natin is the normal uh, stress. So, yan yung magiging uh, shear natin. So, ito. So, yan. Ito yung magiging shear natin. And then, yung normal naman natin is from the point dito sa ating failure plane. Yung ito yung failure plane natin. Yung vertical niya, yan yung shear. And then, yung horizontal niya from the uh, zero origin, yan yung ating normal stress. So, ito. Ito yung uh, failure plane natin. So, dito siya nag-tangent. Itong point. So, vertical. Yan yung shear. Horizontal. Yan yung ating normal stress. So, if we draw again our more circle. So, magiging ganyan na yung more circle natin. So, if this is the radius. So, I... Uh, so, assuming that is a tangent, tangent ito. So, ito yung point natin, point of failure. So, ito magiging yung tau, ito yung shear. So, ito naman, yan yung magiging value ng ating normal stress. Diba? Yan. And considering yung ating uh, uh, figure here, this is 2 theta. Ito, yung value natin dyan is yung phi. So, magkakaroon na tayo ng angle dito. If this is 2 theta, yung theta natin na solve natin nung last, uh, yung letter B. So, ito, magiging value natin dito is 180 minus 2 theta. Since 180 yung horizontal natin, yung angle natin dyan. So, yung magiging value na natin dito is equal to uh, 68 0.38 kasi yung 2 theta natin yung value ng theta natin is equal to 55.81 yung na-solve natin uh, kanina dito sa ating letter B so ito 55.81 so you just have to substitute heat here makukuha na natin na angle is equal to 68.38 yung angle dito yung angle dito yan 68.38 so, drawing natin na lit ito. Kunin natin itong triangle to solve for the shear. Kunin natin itong triangle na ito. So, pag meron tayong triangle, yan yung triangle natin. So, this is 90. Ito, yung value natin dito is yung shear natin. Ito yung hinahanap natin. And then, alam natin na yung value natin dito is yung R, yung radius natin. That is radius. So, yung radius natin dito, that is equal to the deviator over, yung deviator stress natin over 2. And then, hindi natin alam yung uh, x natin dito. So, let's denote that as x1 kasi hindi natin alam yung value. And then, we have here this value, yung 68.38. That is 68.38. So, Using our cosine, cosine of 68.38, that is equal to x1 over yung ating, ano yung magiging value natin dito? That is Sokatoa 
uh, adjacent tapos yung hypotenuse. Yung hypotenuse natin dito is yung radius which is equal to the deviator stress over 2. Yung value natin for the deviator stress, ano yung value natin for the deviator stress? That is equal to 350. So, 350 over 2, that is 175. So, this is over uh, 175. So, using your calculator here, we can now solve for the value of X1, which is 64.48 kPa. So, X1 pa lang yan. So, pag may value na tayo ng uh, X1, Pwede na nating kunin yung ating value ng uh, TF. Uh, actually, ito gagamitin natin to solve for our uh, normal. Kasi looking at our uh, figure here, masosolve natin yung value ng shear using sign. So, yung itong cosine na nakuha natin, gagamitin natin ito for solving for the normal stress. So, ito pwede natin kunin yung shear uh, stress using the sine. So, sine of the uh, angle which is 68.38 that is equal to yung shear natin over yung uh, radius natin which is equal to 175. So, yung value natin dito is equal to yung uh, shear Yung shear stress natin is equal to uh, 175 sine of 68.38. That is equal to 162.69 kPa. So, can you check if my calculation is correct? Yung TF natin is 162.69. Ito yung shear stress natin. Yung normal stress natin, paano natin kukunin yung normal stress natin? So, balik tayo dito. Ito yung ating normal stress. So, hanggang dito, yung value natin dito is uh, sigma 3. So, from the origin hanggang dito, yung sigma 3 yung value natin. Diba? And from sigma 3 hanggang dito sa ating uh, center ng ating more circle, that is radius. Radius ito. So, Pag kukunin nyo hanggang dito sa center, yan, hanggang dito sa center, that is sigma 3 plus radius. Ngayon, ang, ang normal stress natin is hanggang dito sa ating may fa sa failure point natin. Hanggang dito. So, paano natin kukunin yung uh, sig sigma n or yung normal stress natin? So, looking at these figures, yung normal stress natin is equal to so, equal to, ano yan? That is sigma 3 plus R minus yung X1 na sinold natin kanina. Kasi this is X1, right? So, that is X1. Kasi ito yung triangle natin kanina. So, that is X1. So, yung sigma uh, N natin, yung normal stress natin, that is equal to uh, sigma 3 plus that is Yung radius natin, which is 175, minus yung ating x1. So, yung value na natin ngayon dito sa ating normal stress, that is equal to yung sigma 3 natin, is equal to, ano yung value natin ng sigma 3? That is 300. So, we have the chamber confining pressure. 300 plus the radius 175 minus yung value natin ng x1 which is 64.48. So, yung normal stress natin ngayon is equal to 410.52 kPa. So, i-check nyo pag tama yung calculation natin. So, that is the answers for the problem number 2. So, yan. Yung angle of internal friction natin, 21.62. Yung angle that the failure plane makes with the major principal axis, that is 55.81. And then, yung normal and shear stress natin is equal to 410.52 and then 162.69. Okay. Meron tayo dito na problem number 3. So, a consolidated and drained test on a normally consolidated clay yielded the following result. 
so we have the confining pressure in stigma trina then that is equal to 15 pounds per inch squared yung ating the vector stress which is equal to 11 pounds per inches squared and yung pore pressure natin yung delta ud that is equal to 7.2 pounds per inches squared so we have to calculate the consolidated and drain friction angle and the cal calculate the consolidated drain friction angle so dalawa yung friction angle na isosolve natin dito isa sa and drain isa doon sa may drain so for the solution of this problem so identify muna natin yung bevel natin so for the solution okay yung uh, confining pressure natin meron tayong deviator stress and meron din tayong uh, pore pressure so consolidated and drain yung test natin so yung hinahanap natin and drain and drain so yung magiging more circle na natin dito meron tayong uh, soil sample that is drain in yung soil sample natin na undrained. So, yung unang soil sample natin, yung undrained. Let's say, yan yung more circle natin. So, we have a uh, sigma 3 that is uh, undrained. So, yung sigma 3 natin given, which is equal to 15. And then, meron tayong sigma 1, yung total stress natin ito. Hindi pa naalis yung pore pressure natin. So, yung sigma 1 natin is equal to hindi natin alam. So, isosolve natin yan. So, meron tayong radius dito. And then, yung ating deviator stress is also given, which is equal to 11 pounds per inches squared. So, ito, ito yung undrain natin. So, undrain more circles natin ito. So, ito yung undrain. So, pag inalis natin yung pore pressure, so, pag inalis natin yung pore pressure natin dito sa ating soil specimen, magkakaroon na tayo ng another more circle dito. So, magkakaroon na tayo ng another more, more cir circle na naalis na yung ating pore pressure. So, yung more circle natin dito is yung drain na ang ating specimen. So, meron tayong drain. So, yung sigma natin dito, yung sigma 3 natin dito or yung confining pressure natin is meron tayong prime. So, that indicate na yung uh, sigma 3 natin dito or yung confining uh, pressure or yung minor principal axis minor principal stress natin dito is the effective kasi nawala na yung pore pressure and then dito din meron tayong maximum that is sigma 1 prime so that will indicate na yung ating maximum dito is yung effective dito sa my drain soils natin so meron tayong undrain meron tayong drain so yung hinahanap natin is we need to calculate the friction angle dito sa undrain. So, ito yung undrain natin. So, we have normally consolidated clay. So, yung C natin is equal to 0. So, yung C natin dito is equal to 0. So, dito sa undrain, magdodrawing tayo ng failure plane natin tangent to the uh, more circle natin dito sa undrain. Yan, tangent. So, ito na yung magiging failure natin dito sa undrained. So, yung failure plane natin dito sa uh, undrained soil. And then, yung fee, na, yung fee natin dito is yung uh, angle of internal friction nung failure plane natin dito sa uh, Morse circle. So, yung pangalawang hinahanap natin is the drain friction angle. So, yung friction naman 
friction angle naman nitong ating drain soil yung hahanapin natin dito. So, yung failure plane natin dito sa drain, we have to draw a line tangent doon sa ating more circle dito sa my drain. So, if this is our center, yung tangent natin dyan, yan, magkakaroon na tayo ng tangent dito sa more circle natin. So, yung angle naman natin dito, yung angle na ito, this angle is our phi prime. So, yung internal uh, friction angle sa my drain soil. So, ito yung theta, ito yung theta prime. So, yan yung hahanapin natin for this example. So, yan. So, looking at this figure, so, pag tinitignan natin itong figure, we can solve for the value of sigma 1. Di ba? Kasi meron tayong sigma 3, which is 15. Meron tayong deviator stress, which is 11. So, masosolve natin yung ating sigma 1, which is the uh, maximum pressure doon sa ating undrained soil, which is equal to sigma 3 plus yung deviator stress natin. So, that is 15 plus 11 yung sigma 1 natin is equal to 26. So, 26 pounds per inches squared. So, this will become now is equal to 26. And then, we can also solve this value of sigma prime. So, masosolve din natin yung value ng sigma prime. How? Yung given natin dito, meron tayong given na pore pressure. So, yung undrain, pag minimus mo yung pore pressure natin, magiging drain na yung ating soil. So, yung pore pressure natin, ito yung pore pressure natin. So, that is uh, delta mu D. So, yan yung pore pressure natin dito. And then, yung pore pressure din natin dito, so, that is pore pressure. Ayan. Yan yung pore pressure natin dito. So, masasolve natin yung ating sigma 1 prime. Yung effective uh, maximum stress natin. So, yung sigma 1 prime natin, that is equal to yung sigma 1, which is 26, minus yung value ng ating pore pressure which is given dito sa ating problem that is equal to 7.2. So, yung sigma 1 prime natin that is equal to 26 minus yung uh, value natin dito which is 7.2. So, 26 minus 7.2, yung value na natin ng sigma 1 prime, yung effective that is equal to Mm, 26.7.2 that is 18.8 so that is 18.8 pounds per inches squared so meron tayong value ng theta uh, sigma 1 prime dito that is equal to 18.8 pounds per inches squared so meron tayong sigma 1 doon sa ating uh and drain, meron tayong sigma 1 prime doon sa ating drain, yung effective. Given din yung sigma 3 natin. So, meron tayong given na sigma 3 which is equal to yung given natin na sigma 3. Yung undrain ito ah, kasi wala tayong prime. So, sigma 3, 15. Ano naman ngayon yung value ng ating uh, sigma 3? So, yung value ng ating sigma 3, that is equal to, so, pag ito yung pore pressure natin, yung pore pressure naman natin dito is, yan. So, ito yung pore pressure natin. Kasi ito yung undrained sigma 3 natin, pag inalis natin yung pore pressure, magiging ito yung value ng effective sigma 3 natin, yung confining pressure natin. So, ito yung ating uh, pore Pressure. So, yan yung ating pore pressure. So, yung sigma 3 prime natin, yung effective is equal to the value of sigma 3 minus yung value ng ating uh, pore water.
square sure that is 7.2 so yung sigma 3 prime natin is equal to 15 minus uh, 7.2 pounds per inches squared that is equal to 7.8 pounds per inches squared so we have now the value of sigma 3 7.8 sigma 1 sigma 3 sigma 3 prime and yung ating sigma 1 prime so meron na tayong uh, values so paano na natin isolve yung undrained friction natin and yung drained friction angle natin so yan so i-drawing natin ulit yung ating mohr circle Para ma-visualize natin, para hindi siya masyadong magulo. So, ito yung drain. Ay, ito yung undrain. Undrain ito, ito yung drain. So, meron tayong failure plane. We also have failure plane here. Yung value natin dito is equal to, yung value natin na solve kanina, this is 26. This is, yung sigma 3 natin, 15. Yung, ah, uh, Sigma 1 prime natin is equal to, ano yung value natin? That is 18.8. So, we have here 18.8 uh, and then yung uh, sigma 3 prime natin, yung effective, that is 7.8. This is sigma 3 prime, that is sigma 3, that is sigma 1 prime and yung maximum natin na uh, total. So, ito yung undrain, ito yung drain. So, meron din tayo nung value nung ating uh, pore pressure that is 7.2. Yung deviator stress natin that is equal to 11. So, given yan sa problem natin. So, ngayon isosolve na natin yung ating uh, drain friction angle. So, yan yung ating plane. So, Pag kinuha natin itong triangle, dito sa drain muna tayo. Pag kinuha natin yung triangle, dito sa drain. So, yan. So, this is 90 degrees. Ito yung phi prime natin. That is the radius of our uh, more circle doon sa drain uh, soil specimen natin. And we have here yung value natin dito is yung sigma 3 prime plus yung radius natin dito sa ating drain. Sa drain tayo dito. So, yung sigma 3 prime plus R natin dito, that is equal to yung R natin, yung deviator stress natin is 11. Divide natin siya to 2, that is equal to 5.5. So, yung uh, sigma 3 prime natin, which is 7.8 plus 5.5, that is equal to 13.5. So, 13.3 itong value natin dito. So, yung magiging sine phi prime na natin dyan is equal to yung radius, yung opposite, times the hypotenuse. So, yung radius which is equal to 5.5 over yung sigma 3 prime plus yung radius natin which is 13.3. So, yung internal friction angle natin ngayon sa ating drain, drain, ito ah, drain, kasi meron tayong phi as uh, prime that indicates na yung ating soil is in, uh, is in the effective condition. So, sine phi prime is equal to 5.5 over 13.3 that is equal to 24.43 degrees. So, kindly check if my calculation is correct. And then, yung second naman is the uh, angle of the internal friction doon sa ating uh, undrain. So, sa undrain naman tayo. So, yung radius natin dito so, yung radius natin dito is equal to 11.2 over 2 5.5 pa rin siya. So, ito yung magiging uh, phi na natin. Ito yun, yung triangle na ito. Yan yung kukunin natin for the undrain. So, meron tayong radius. Ano yung value dito? So, yung value natin dito is equal to yung 
dito hanggang dito hanggang dito sa center is equal to the sigma 1 yung 26 eto i minus lang natin yung radius dito kasi hanggang dito sa my center nung more circles dito sa undrained specimen natin so yung value natin dito is equal to the sigma 1 minus yung radius natin kasi this is radius hanggang dyan that is radius so this is sigma 1 minus radius that is equal to 26 minus yung radius natin which is 5.5 so value natin dito is 20.5 so sine of phi yung internal friction angle natin that is opposite times hypotenuse that is 5.5 over 20.5 so yung phi natin is equal to 15.56 degrees so yan yung magiging uh, undrained friction angle natin so ito yung undrained friction angle yung phi prime yan yung drain friction angle natin kasi in effective condition itong uh, phi prime at uh, total naman yung total stress naman yung condition natin dito sa phi okay for the uh, problem number 4 last problem so the shear strength of a normally consolidated clay can be given by the equation tau is equal to uh, sigma prime tangent of 31 degrees so a consolidated and drained triaxial test was conducted on the clay and the following are the result of the test. We have the chamber confining pressure. Ito yung sigma 3 natin. That is equal to 112 kilonewton per meter squared. And yung deviator stress at failure natin. Which is equal to 100 kilonewton per meter squared. So we have to determine first the consolidated and drain friction angle. And yung second yung pore water pressure developed in the clay specimen at failure. So, yan. So, yung unang hahanapin daw natin is the consolidated and drain friction angle. So, for letter A. So, see you try actual test tayo. So, if we have our more circle and drained ito, kasi yan yung hinahanap natin, and drain friction angle. Ang given natin is the chamber confining pressure yung sigma 3 natin that is equal to 112 and then yung deviator stress natin that is equal to 100 so given sigma 3 and the uh, deviator stress maso solve natin yung sigma 1 which is equal to sigma 3 plus yung ating deviator stress that is equal to yung sigma 1 natin is equal to 112 plus 100 that is equal to 212 kilonewton per meter squared. So at center, meron tayong uh, radius. So meron tayong radius. And yung failure plane natin dito, normally consolidated pa rin tayo. So wala tayong C uh, cohesion. Wala tayong value ng cohesion. So we have our failure plane. Yan yung failure plane natin. So, meron tayong internal angle of friction na phi. So, this is 90 degrees. So, this is our radius. Radius din ito. Radius din. Yan. So, yung radius natin, that is equal to 100 over 2. That is 50. So, yan yung radius natin. So, yung consolidated and drained friction natin, kukunin natin itong triangle. So, if we have that triangle, masasolve natin yung undrained friction angle natin. So, yung value natin dito, this is equal to sigma 3 plus yung R. Wala dito, di ba? Yung value natin is sigma 3 plus yung R. Yung sigma 3 natin is 112 plus 50, yung R natin, which is 50. Yung value natin dito is 162. So, uh, meron tayong, uh, pag kinuha natin yung triangle, yan, this is 90, this is phi, 
ito yung radius natin, this is 50, this is 162. So, yung looking at our diagram, we can solve for the untrained friction angle using the sine. So, sine phi is equal to 50 over 162. So, yung sine phi natin is equal to 18 degrees. So, ah, that's sine phi. That is phi. Phi is equal to 18 degrees. So, that is our uh, angle of internal friction. Or you can use by the equation to solve for the uh, angle of internal friction. You can use the equation yung sine phi natin is equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 over sigma 1 plus sigma 3. You can use this. You can derive ng uh, internal angle friction which is 18 degrees din yung masosolve ninyo dito pag ginamit ninyo yung equation or you can just simply look at your diagram tapos gamitin nyo yung uh, trigonometric equation for the sine yung sine law natin so yung consolidated and range friction natin is equal to 18 degrees so kindly check if my calculation is correct Okay, so for letter B, we have to calculate the pore water pressure developed in the clay specimen at failure. So, kailangan nating isolve yung pore water pressure. So, dito sa letter B, yung drain natin, ito yung drain soil sample natin. So, kailangan nating i-calculate yung pore water pressure. So, magkakaroon na tayo ng drain soil specimen dito sa letter B kasi kaila ang isinisolve natin yung pore water pressure so ilan yung natanggal na pore water pressure and then yung ungrained soil specimen natin makaka-create na siya ng effective or yung tinatawag nating drain uh, uh, soil sample so for letter B so for letter B so, ito yung ating more circle. Yung first, yung undrain. Meron tayong value kanina. This is 212. Ito is 112. So, this is equal to 100. So, yung radius natin dito. Ito yung failure plane natin sa ating uh, undrain. Ito yung undrained soil sample natin. So, this is radius. And then, sabi natin, yung sinisolve natin, pore water pressure. So, tatanggalin natin yung pore water pressure. Yung total stress natin dito sa soil sample, magkakaroon na tayo ng effective uh, stress. So, ito yung more circle natin for the effective stress. So, this one, is our effective or yung drain soil sample natin. So, yung failure plane natin is tangent to our more circle. So, tangent tayo. Yan yung magiging failure natin. This is also reduced. So, meron na tayong uh, sigma 1 prime. That is our effective and this is our sigma 3 prime yung effective na confining pressure natin so nasaan na ngayon yung ating poor water pressure so yung poor water pressure natin is equal to yung ating sigma 3 minus yung ating sigma 3 prime yun yung magiging uh or water pressure natin. That is our pore water pressure. So, mula dito, we are looking at this diagram. Dito hanggang dito, that is equal to 
yung stigma 3 prime natin plus yung radius natin. So, that is stigma 3 prime plus radius hanggang dito sa may uh, midpoint ng ating green soil specimen. So, that is stigma 3 prime plus R. So, hindi natin alam yung stigma 3 prime kasi wala pa tayo ng pore water pressure. So, gagamitin natin itong triangle. So, gagamitin natin yung triangle na yan to solve for the value of this. Yan. So, meron tayong uh, equation given sa ating problem which is the tau that is equal to phi prime tangent of uh, sigma prime tangent of phi prime. So, yung phi prime natin dito is given in the problem that is equal to 31 degrees. So, yung angle natin dito is 31 degrees. Naka prime tayo so that is in the effective condition. So, punin natin yung triangle. This is 90 degrees. So, this is delta R plus R. Yung R natin is equal to 50. This is 31 degrees. So, using our sine, so sine of 31 degrees is equal to 50 over yung, let's say this is x. Yung sigma 3 prime plus r, that is equal to x. So, x tayo dyan. So, yung value ng x natin is equal to, so, solve this in your calculator, ang makukuha natin is 97.08. So, kindly check my calculation. So, meron na tayong value dito sa sigma 3 prime plus r that is equal to 97.08. Ngayon, masosolve na natin yung value ng ating sigma prime. Diba? Masosolve na natin ito kasi... If you're looking at this triangle, yung triangle natin dito, masosolve natin yung sigma 3 prime kasi meron tayong value dito sa x mula sa origin hanggang dun sa may uh, center ng ating drain soil specimen. And then, eto, yan yung radius. So, we can solve for the value of sigma 3 prime that is equal to yung value ng x natin which is the sigma 3 prime plus r minus yung r natin. So, yung sigma 3 prime natin, yung x natin, that is equal to 97.08 minus yung radius natin, which is 50. So, yung sigma 3 prime natin is equal to 47.08 kilonewton per meter square. So, kindly check if this is uh, correct. So, ang um, Mahahanap na natin yung ating value for the pore pressure kasi meron na tayong value ng sigma 3 prime. Diba? Mahahanap na natin yung value ng pore pressure natin kasi yung ating uh, pore pressure, so yung ating pore pressure, ito yung pore pressure natin, meron tayong sigma uh, 3 Doon sa ating total, meron na din tayong value ng sigma 3 prime. That is for the effective condition. We can now solve for our uh, delta UD or yung pore water pressure natin. So, looking at this diagram, yung uh, sigma 3 prime natin plus yung ating pore water pressure, yun yung sigma 3 natin sa total or you can use yung total na uh, sigma 3 minus the pore pressure is equal to sigma 3 prime. So, yung from the uh, diagram yung sigma 3 prime natin is equal to, eto, yung sigma 3 prime natin is equal to sigma 3 doon sa total, doon sa undrained soil specimen natin minus yung pore pressure natin. So, that is 112 minus our pore water pressure. So, yung value ng sigma 3 natin is equal to 47.08. So, substituting these values on your calculator, masosolve na natin yung value ng ating pore water pressure that is equal to 
112 minus 47.08, yung value na natin ng pour water pressure is equal to 64.92 kilonewton meter square. So, ito yung magiging value natin for the second required of the problem. So, yung pour water pressure natin is equal to 64.92 kN per meter square. So, kindly calculate if my calculation is correct. And then, also, kindly take down notes yung example natin. So, that's it for the example of the shear strength.